Welcome back, you guys, to Vlogmas Day number 13. Hmm, lucky or unlucky? We'll find out. It's another Dollar Tree haul. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom. Back to share another Vlogmas video with you guys and today it is Dollar Tree Thursday and I can say that today and really say that today because today's video is in collab with the Dollar Tree Thursday queen herself, Nicole Burgess. So if you guys watch any kind of Dollar Tree haul, I'm sure you guys already know who she is, but if you do not follow her, I will make sure to leave all of her information at the end slate and in the description box like I always do, but you guys, she is absolutely amazing on her channel and off her channel, but just on her channel alone, she does incredible couponing and saves people a lot of money. Like if you like to coupon and you like to do any of those things or if you want to learn, because she does a very good job of teaching everybody and just putting a printable Google Doc in every video linked so that you can just print her instructions and go to the store and follow them and get all of those things for really cheap cheap prices. She shares a Dollar Tree haul every Thursday on her channel. She does Foodie Fridays every friday she does grocery hauls she's just amazing but i've gotten a chance to become friends with her off the screen we met here on youtube and we just clicked in this little friends group that we have with vanessa lemonade mom and madison pippins and anchor amber the five of us just kind of clicked in this little group and we have gone on vacations together we chat every day and i really honestly i just love these ladies and i want to share my friends with you guys so if you don't know who my friends are i'd love to introduce you to them so make sure you go and check Nicole out and if you are new to her channel subscribe show her some love and make sure to comment let her know that I sent to you and I'm sure she's gonna have some great goodies because that girl is forever finding something good she's been going to different Dollar Trees making sure she was getting all the things set up for today so I'm dying to find out what she got but now let's get into what I have so I have pretty much a bunch of Christmas related items I think everything I have here is pretty much a Christmas gift or for something Christmassy, which is why I'm in a new location today. If you guys normally watch me and you know when I do a sit down video, I'm usually in my room with just using like a few decor things on the wall as backdrop behind me. But I thought it would be fun today to do it in front of the Christmas tree. We have it set up, we're not done decorating it. But like I said, it's kind of a Christmassy haul. So I thought it was perfect to do it right here in front of the tree. So now, after with no further ado, and after all of that chatter, let's get into what I got. So I have a lot of food items. I found tons of food finds, but I think I'm gonna hold off on them and do some of the fun stuff first. I feel like even though food is exciting, it can get boring, so let me show you guys some of the other things that I found because I'm super excited about some of these scores. So I'm gonna start off with the thing I was the most excited about finding. I love being able to cross things off of my wish list, and with all of my girls, I'm forever adding to it. So when I can cross something off, I'm all about it. And the Dollar Trees have been putting together these little gift sections, little end caps or kiosks that have all different things that would be suitable for gifts, for men, for women, and they have these wine stoppers there. Now they have the cork in the back, as you can see there, and then the tops are ceramic. And they're like a nice size, if you guys can see. And this one just says cheers with all these different little dots on them. It almost looks very um, like New Year's Eve-ish to me. So I love that one. And then this one says wine was made to bring girlfriends together. 
So I'm actually going to give this to my best friend because I have a, like a little wine basket that I'm putting together for her. Like wine is her favorite thing. And this one says wine. Everybody needs a hobby. So I thought that was cute. They have a bunch of different ones. These are the ones that I had on my list that I was looking for. Uh, if I have pictures of anything, I'll make sure to link them at the end. I didn't take much pictures this time, but I did take some. So if I have them, I'll make sure to link them for you. So speaking of wine, this is another one of the things that were in that gift section and it's going to go with one of those wine stoppers and like a bottle of wine. I thought these were super cute. They're just those little shadow box frames and it says friends and wine get better with time. I thought that was just so sweet and it has the picture hook for you to hang on the back and it's just like canvas wrapped around the wood. So I thought that would be perfect for her to hang up at her apartment. And how cute is that going to look with the wine stopper and this and a bottle of wine like in a basket? Like, I think that's a great gift. So my oldest son, Jacob, who's 14, he asked for Christmas for like things to keep his hands busy. He has ADHD, so he struggles a little bit in school with focus. And the Dollar Tree has you covered, you guys. There is so many things. I didn't even pick all of them up, but once I started looking, I couldn't believe what I found. So first off, they have a bunch of these metal brain teasers. So they look like this, and then there was all different ones. There was like circles and triangles and squares and all these different things, and they're linked together, and the object is to unlink them. So it's definitely like busy work to keep his hands going. Um, I put on my Instagram, which if you guys do not follow me there, I'll put a little link right here for you in case you guys want to check that out. But I put on my Instagram that with Jake's sensory issues, he really likes to play with slime. He likes textural things. And so I asked you guys, hey, if you have any children or if you know of any children who have sensory issues, what are some suggestions for things I could buy for Jake's stocking? that I could put in there that would be good for him. And some of you guys suggested a slinky. So I was like, hmm, I don't know, but for a dollar for two of them, it's certainly worth a shot. So they had a whole bunch of different colors. Um, blue is Jake's favorite color. So I grabbed the set of two blue ones and I'm just gonna put that in his stocking. And then look at this one, you guys. This one says challenge your mind and it's a real wood 3D puzzle. So I just thought, how cute is that? Like all of these things are supposed to be like really good for the brain. And you can tell in the back, it's got some instructions there, which is awesome. So Jake can read through it and just make sure that he's doing it right. But I think that that's really good. Again, like busy work for him. And then I picked him up a Rubik's cube. I think he had one before, but he must have misplaced it. But again, something that would keep his mind going and his hands going. So, and this one just has stars on all the sides and they're just different colors but I don't really think he's gonna care about what it is. It's just something to keep him stimulated and something to keep his hands moving. Um, and then the only other thing that I picked up, this is not for Jake, it's actually for Maya because there's a unicorn one in there. But again, for kids who like to do like the squishies and the mashems and the slime, my kids love all that kind of stuff. These are called Crush Yums and they just have like two of these kind of like squishies in there. So it's hard to see because there's kind of a reflection on there, but this one right here is a panda, and then this is a blue unicorn head. And again, it's just meant to be like one of those like things that the kids like squish and hold, but I know that my kids are all about these. Super boring, but you can't wrap presents without scotch tape. Two rolls of scotch tape for a dollar, can't go wrong, so I picked up two. So sticking with the Christmas like wrapping thing, I did pick up one of these boxes. They had so many different cute boxes, but I just love these. I love the bakery string, like that red and white string, and it comes with a little gift tag, and it's just opens and it's got the green lining on the inside and this is just looks like christmas lights and it's got a little bit of subtle glitter and i just think these are so cute for like customizing a gift 
or something like just put something little in here is just so sweet like I can't I just couldn't get over I feel like for a teacher gift even putting a gift card in here you can put a gift card with some tissue paper and some candy and that's like a perfect teacher like a vessel for a gift so I really love that there was a bunch of these and I'm pretty sure I took pictures of them so if I did it'll be at the end and then I know again kind of boring like tape but I picked up some tissue paper I got the plain 24 sheets it's the red the green and then the red and white stripe and then I picked up this one is only 16 sheets in there but this one has like just a little bit more like of a prettier print along with the red green and then the red and white checkered plaid then I bought this red Sharpie. I just thought it was a good deal for a buck, just like the one single Sharpie. And I got it in red. And this way, when our elf comes and writes letters, he can write in this red Sharpie. So when I put him away, I'm actually gonna put him away with this in the box. I'm sorry, I'm like down here, like I said. And that is my dog that's walking around and you hear her click clacking all over the place. Of course, I can't be down like on her level without her being interested in what's going on down here um, anyways I'm gonna put this sharpie marker away when I put Franklin away this way every year when we take him out we're always using the same marker the same tape the same everything to fill out his letters so it always looks cohesive so that's what I picked this guy up for and lastly along that kind of line like from that section of the store I just picked up one of these coloring paint sets I only picked up one because I have to be honest as much as I rave about everything from the Dollar Tree the paints are usually really dried up and crappy and it makes me sad because a lot of things from the Dollar Tree are solid and rock on and then they have these cute little pattern pictures that you want your kids to paint. So this one has like a penguin, that's one that they already painted. And then the one up top there is snowman and it says let it snow. So I just thought these were so cute, but I have my own paints. Um, so this just comes with a paintbrush and these two pictures and if the paints don't work, I'll use my own. But I will have to say that most of the time that we get these, the paints are pretty much shot so then I picked up these like pencil tins so I picked up two of them one for my cousin who collects anything mermaid and then one for Jake but I really love these they're almost like a glasses case it's like the hard like tin metal and this one just says uh, let's be mermaids on it which is like a very popular pattern this year and it has that again that mermaid pattern but i just thought these were so cute for just keeping at her desk with she does a lot of like artsy and craftsy stuff and whatever so i thought she could use this really honestly for a lot of things i even thought about if they would have had a unicorn one i would have gotten it for myself because i thought about like my pens and all of my stuff that are always loose in my bag like in my purse i'm forever like tossing stuff over my shoulder whenever i need a pen but if i had something like this i'd be able to keep like my lip glosses my pens anything like long would be kind of perfect in here so i thought these were super cute so i got the mermaid one for ashlyn and then i got the emoji one for jake again same concept it's just red on the bottom but i figured this he can actually use for pens and pencils but he loves him some emojis so i had to score this only one a box of nails but i picked this one up for myself i love the new pattern that it has so so pretty absolutely loving that so i got that guy for me i haven't picked up nails i think in forever but i actually have a set on my husband got me a manicure for our anniversary and he got me like a gel manicure and so it lasted forever but this is a dollar tree set it's like the aztec -y with the silver and the black so i put that on need to be rocking some dt nails it's been quite some time 
So then I found some blind bags, you guys. I've mentioned that my store always kills it with the blind bags. These ones actually seem pretty popular, though. I've seen everybody haul them, but these are the Shopkins Happy Place ones. Um, they are a limited edition, but like I said, I've pretty much seen so many different people haul them, so if you're interested in them, check your DTs. They probably have them. My store did only have three, so I bought all three of them, two for Maya and one for Mason, even though they're Shopkins I know he'll want one too if she has one now I've already done their stocking video so if you guys missed that I'll link it up above but I'm gonna bring some stuff to my mom's because I thought even just for little stocking stuff like I don't want to give nothing to my kids on Christmas and make them wait for everything till they get home so I think I'm gonna bring like little things like this as well as something like this. So I'm gonna bring these to my mom's as well because the kids love themselves some Play-Doh and this, you guys, I could not pass up. Now, Play-Doh can get pretty expensive and my kids are notorious for like mixing the colors and leaving the caps on and not putting them away so they get gross. So a dollar for Play-Doh is right up my alley, but look how cute they are. They're little Crayola crayons, and you guys, speaking of Crayola, they had every color under the sun. Like, I seriously could have spent $25 buying Play-Doh and wouldn't have duplicated the colors, and they all have the color name on them. So this is Outrageous Orange. This is Tickle Me Pink. How cute is that? Then this one is a Blue Sky. And then this green one is a Granny Smith apple. But the cap comes off, and then it's just a clear lining right here with some Play-Doh in there. But my kids love Play-Doh. It'll be something for them to do at my mom's. So again, I'm gonna bring that with me and stuff their stockings with that stuff there. So still on the lines of stocking stuffers, when I go home to my parents, my brother still lives there, and so obviously he has a stocking there as well, and he is our Superman. He loves Superman. We buy him all sorts of Superman stuff, and we always say, like, he's our Superman. So I saw this little DC Comics Superman little metal figure. I don't really know what he's gonna do with it, but for a dollar, I thought it was really cute. Maybe he could stick it on his desk by his computer or something, but too cute to pass up, and I'm gonna stick this in his stocking. Back on that sunbeam train, you guys, I had to grab some batteries. Of course, it's Christmas season, and I just left BJ's, and I forgot to get, like, the big mega jamma Duracell or Energizer pack that we usually get there. So while I was in the Dollar Tree, I just scooped these ones up. I know they're not the greatest and they're not gonna last forever, but at least it'll just get the kids started with their Christmas stuff and then once I go to BJ's again, I'll pick up like the big good pack. But for now, I just got three of the Sunbeam eight pack batteries and like I said, this should get us started with all the annoying things that make noise. So then I picked up this book. You guys are know that the Dollar Tree is always killing it with their book section. And my couple of Dollar Trees have like great book sections. So I usually have a pretty wide variety. Um, this one says False Convent. And it just looks like something that Paige, Vanessa, Lemonade Mom's Daughter would like. I'm getting their box together. And there's a few things that I wanted to get her. And a good book was on my list. So I picked this up for her. And I'm really hoping she likes it. So the last item that I have that's non-food are these cat treats. So I don't normally go and look through the cat section for cat treats or anything because I have two dogs, but I wanted to send in my gift packages things for my friend's animals as well. And so both Polly and Lily, I picked these up for. Now, I didn't notice anything really name brand there. Now, when I shop for the dogs, I usually find quite a few things, Snossages and the Alpo, and like a bunch of like main name brand things, but I really didn't see much for the cats but I do know that this is a name brand so I picked up the temptation mix-ups one in the backyard cookout and one in the superbs delight and I'm hoping they're kitties like these so now we're just on to food items and I'm totally excited to share what I have 
for you guys because I found some super amazing scores. So first thing I just picked up, this is like not an amazing score, but I just got this little thing of Hershey Kisses. I wanted one that was just red. The elf's going to bring elf kisses for them, free elf kisses. So I wanted just red ones. So I picked these ones up for the elf. Speaking of our elf, I picked up some marshmallows. So in a couple of days, he's going to be hanging out in my crock pot like a bubble bath. And so I'm going to use these marshmallows like the bubbles and put a rubber ducky in it and have him hanging out in there. So I'm excited about that and maybe we'll eat them after. Cookie butter, you guys. Cookie butter at the Dollar Tree. I think that is absolutely crazy. There's three different kinds. There's one that I did not pick up, but this is the Italione cookie butter and hazelnut duo spread. Does it say how many ounces this jar is? It's seven ounces and it's a glass jar, but it looks like this. So to get anything like Nutella, and a cookie butter for a dollar. I thought that was a great price. And then this one is just the cookie butter. So I'm actually, I have all this amazing ideas already about making cookies with these and all these different things. So I'm definitely gonna put these babies to good use. So then look what else I found you guys. Like this is name brand pretty expensive non-gmo popcorn and we love our popcorn in this house like we are obsessed with popcorn and this is the welcome to popcorn indiana brand they do sell this at walmart for two and three dollars like this is a huge bag and it is 4.4 ounces but i mean this thing is like packed and this is the Himalayan pink sea salt like I am all about my pink Himalayan salt and they do have a regular sea salt one but I did not pick that one up but we again we love our popcorn so to score a huge non-gmo bag of popcorn for a dollar I think is a great price but then to find the black and white drizzle, like this stuff is really, really good. It's not as good as the Boom Chicka Pop. I love the Boom Chicka Pop popcorn, but this black and white drizzle corn is still very good. And for a dollar, you couldn't beat it. Like as soon as I saw it, it went right into my cart. Speaking of something else that went right into my cart as soon as I see it, but I love scoring the Tasty Cake Donuts. So I got two of the white powdered sugar, and this is a 10 ounce bag that is set to expire not till January, you guys. So that to me is insane, but why this is an even better deal is do your dollar trees have snack zones yet i know they're trying to incorporate the snack zones into everybody's dollar trees some of mine have them and some of them don't but for the ones that have the snack zones they sell these in like a sleeve and then they sell this. So be careful when your store has a snack zone because I've noticed that sometimes they sell the full version of something that they also break down for a dollar. I've scored those perfect size um, mug cakes. They sell them in the snack zone a dollar for just the individual, pa individual package, but then they've also so sold the full boxes on the shelf. So when you're going through your snack zone, be aware, like same thing with this. So in the snack zone, there was the smaller version of the Pringles and it had all varieties of flavors, but then down the regular aisle where the chips were, were the Pringles, the tall can. So why would you spend the same amount of money and not get double the can? So this is a 4.6 ounce can of Pringles and I got them in the pizza flavor. And I think I have mentioned, at least in my Dollar Tree haul, if not, I've mentioned in a few videos, like when I cleaned out my closet, that I'm doing something fun for the kids. And when we get into the car to leave to my mom's to drive to New York, it's a 12 hour drive. It's long for kids. And so I'm leaving a gift bag 
bag on each one of their seats with their snacks for the car ride, a movie, some activities. I even thought some of those brain teaser things I showed you guys, I might, or the Rubik's Cube, I might stick in Jake's bag because again, it's a long car ride. He loses, you know, patience sitting there. So maybe he'll want to do some of that, you know, hand on busy work kind of thing. So I picked up a bunch of snacks for the kids bags. And now that I'm looking at it, I kind of think I need to go back and pick up more, not just for them, but you guys, the Dollar Tree has great options for snack ideas for just a dollar and for a very good option if you have to gift a couple and you don't know what to get them um, I have a cousin and him and his girlfriend like gave me no ideas on what to get them for Christmas so what I'm putting together is a movie theater gift card but then in there I'm gonna put microwave popcorn their favorite snacks you know a can two cans of soda and that kind of thing you know maybe even a cozy blanket so that you know they can use that stuff to watch a movie at home or they can, you know, take their gift card and go to the movies. But that's a great option for a teacher or anything. They just have a lot of snack fillers. So I think I still have to go back because I'm even doing those movie baskets for all of my girlfriend's kids. Instead of buying, everyone has multiple children. Like you could go on and on forever buying for everybody's kids. So to kill, you know, two birds with one stone, I'm going to just give everyone's kids a gift card to the movies and then give them a whole bunch of their favorite snacks so now that i'm looking i think i need to go back to the store so each of my kids are getting a thing of cookies so i tried to figure out what each kid would like the best but knowing that they're all pretty good about sharing so i tried to have a variety so maya loves anything with peanut butter actually i think mason loves peanut butter more maybe i'll give these ones to mason so i just got the little nut nutter butter cookies for mason's little bag for his seat and then i think i'll give these ones to maya these are the m m's chip deluxe so they're just like the little mini like M&M kind of cookies and then for Jake I'm just gonna do the little bag of a mini Oreo so each kid gets a one small bag of cookies each kid is also getting a bag of chips so I got Jacob the popcorners of white cheddar he loves anything a white cheddar and these ones are also gluten-free non-gmo all that good stuff I love popcorners and all their flavors and Jake really likes the white cheddar and then for Mason, he really loves anything like nacho cheesy. So I got him the Bugles. I haven't seen Bugles in like, yeah, like a long time. So I'm excited to find the Bugles. I think Mason will like that. And Maya, for real, she's a Funyuns girl. Like a girl after my own heart. Love her for that. No one else likes Funyuns but me and her. But that's cool. We won't share. So I'm sure she'll share, right? Maybe she'll share. I don't know. But these ones are for her, for her bag. So everyone got a chip as well. And then I got everyone a Gatorade, including myself. Uh, the dollar for the 32 ounce Gatorades are pretty good. Sometimes my local grocery store will put them on sale for 88 cents. If I do most of my shopping at Walmart, I don't go in there quite often. So the dollar is the better deal for these. But um, I like Cool Blue and so does Jacob. And then Maya and Mason both like the Lemon Lime. So I picked us all up one of these and I know this probably seems like a lot for my littles, but we're on a long car ride and this is pretty much their limit of what I'll let them drink in that 12 hour period just because it's a lot of constant stopping to go to the bathroom and everything. So one of these will pretty much get them the whole way there. Mom needs a bag too, right? I mean, I gotta keep myself busy while I'm driving in the car for 12 hours. So of course I picked up my Zaps Voodoo Chips. I am still so in love with these. I wish I could find them in a bigger bag because I certainly would buy them. My stores just don't carry them and I really do love them. And I feel like everything I've had by the Utz brand, which is the ones that own Zaps, I've loved. Like they just have the best chip. Everyone has like a favorite chip. They do a really good job making chips, this company. So I believe that Utz makes pretzels and other things, but I am just all about their line of chips. They do a very good job. Their Kettle brand of chips is super delicious. And speaking of Utz, 
their ripples like all of their like ripply kind of ridgy chip is just the best kind of ridgy chip i've ever had and this one is the fried dill pickle so i'm excited mom's not sharing those are staying in the front seat with me so I also scored some bread. I'm pretty lucky. My stores always have like an amazing bread selection. So I did get the Nature's Own Butter Bread. This is actually the only type of bread that they had there this time. Super surprised because usually I have a wide variety, but this is the only kind of bread that they had. And I did get rolls, which I'll show you in just a second, but loaves of bread, this is all they had. So I did get two loaves of these and one of them is already in the fridge and we truly love this stuff and we got it for a dollar. So for my other bread purchase, I found something else from Claudia's Bakery. Now I only thought she had the six pack of rolls, which we adore them. Nicole herself got me hooked on them. Little butter and garlic in the oven for a few minutes and they are super delicious. But look at these, you guys. It's a French baguette. It's huge and there's two of them in there for a dollar. If they are anything like the regular Claudia Bakery rolls, I know I'm going to love them. So I picked up two of these, but I'm super excited because like the options of what you can do with these are endless. I did pick up these gummies just for Jake's bag. I know the other kids like gummies too, but I have some fruit snacks like Christmassy ones left over from Jake's themed lunches that I'm just gonna throw in there for them. But Jake really likes these Haribo Coca-Cola ones. And I've been trying to find these forever in our local Walmart and they just keep being sold out or they're not carrying them. The slot is always empty. So when I saw them at the DT, I grabbed him too. I know he's going to love these. I found more soup super stoked about the soup and this one says new up there and this is the swanson soup starter now i've mentioned to you guys that i scored these at the dollar tree at the largest dollar tree when i went with vanessa and i tried all three of them the beef the chicken and the loaded potato the loaded potato was probably one of the better soups i've ever had out of a bag like this absolutely delicious the chicken one was okay my chicken soup's better but it wasn't bad for a quick 30 minutes soup the beef one i would not recommend but this looks delicious this is a chicken tortilla one omg it's like a quick 30 minute taco soup i'm all about that life and lastly i scored these for a friend now i never got to try them but when we all went on our girls trip just recently to savannah um madison pippins grabbed these at the dollar tree that we were at and she was like uh i don't know how i'm gonna feel about them i, I like coconut but this might be too much for me she said she was so impressed by how yummy that they were and i totally wanted to score them for her again so we are doing a box swap coming up i thought it would be really fun to throw this in her box swap so i got this for a my girl all right guys so that's it for this times dollar tree haul this is actually my last dollar tree haul before christmas so if i do purchase anything else that i need for christmas i'll just share it on my instagram and do like a little mini haul or i am doing vlogmas so if there's a vlog that i can throw it in i will include it in there um, but i will do a haul on long island so two weeks from today i'll still be on long island and i'm going to do like a holiday after christmas kind of haul i know all of their stuff usually goes 50 percent off the day after christmas and my mom has a couple of like amazing dts by her so hopefully i can find some wish list items so if you're interested in what i can come up with when i'm in other states which is always super fun make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new and tap the bell so you don't miss when i upload that thank you so much to nicole for collabing with me today Girl, you know that I love you so, so much, and it is such an honor to collab with you on a Dollar Tree haul because this is seriously like your stomping grounds. So I am so honored to be doing this with you. Again, if you guys do not know who Nicole is, go and check her out. Go see what she got and go and love on her. You will never be disappointed. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye.